Hey guys, it's Zach here, and while I have this guitar in my hands, I want to show you guys a quick um, tidbit on something that I play that really has um, increased my ability on playing stuff, and actually um, will trick your mind in a way that will improve your playing dramatically. Um, it's a really simple exercise, and it involves every string, all six of them. Um, or you can do it with a 8 string I guess as well or 12 string whatever um, and it's three notes on every string but you'll see it, it it's a little hard um, first of all I normally start on the 5th, 7th, and ninth fret um, my fret markers are kind of up high so you guys probably can't see them but every string is going to be on the 5th, 7th, and ninth. okay I use um, I kind of orient my fingers differently I will sometimes use uh, pointer finger, middle finger, and pinky. And if I'm up higher, obviously pointer finger, um, middle finger, and uh, ring finger. So right now we're just going to use uh, pointer, middle, and pinky. And I think I said ring, I meant uh, middle for the widespread. Okay? So we go five. 7 and 9 and that's it. This is done in a couple different stages, okay? So we have 5, 7, 9 on the E string. Then on the second round we do 5, 7, 9 on the E string and 5, 7, 9 on the A string. Now we skip back down to the E string. We do 5, 7, 9, 5, 7, 9, 5, 7, 9. And this is where the exercise gets a little harder. What makes this ex exercise difficult is the fact that um, when you get to the the higher you get, you actually skip all the strings and you're going to start back from round one, which is on the low E. So we go. Okay, I'll start from the beginning. Apologies, my guitar is not 100% in tune, but that's basically um, how it goes. Now, when you do it backwards, it gets even more difficult. Same, same exact five, five, seven, nine. Only now it's reversed. Nine, seven, five. Okay. Oh, Jesus! And see, that's what's going to happen. Most people get used to playing three going back one, so... And that's basically the exercise. And you're going to find how difficult that is because um, you're skipping such a large amount. Um, it's easy to play this with a with a metronome or a tempo. Um, that way you get a good uh, groove going. But really, that's it, and you can use that all over. And this will really help you with your s string skips and anything like that because it's actually training your brain to start back from um, from the start. It's easier to go up than it is to go down. That's my pick here. So, yeah, that's basically it. Just a real quick exercise that uh, will kind of it's a little harder, but when you get up higher, obviously it's always easier. But just for the low strings, it's a little harder. And like I said, you're always going to want to do it in threes, and that's where you're going to have difficulty.
Um, another thing that this is going to do for you is it's actually um, going to, like I said, string sweeps, it's going to improve, or like string skipping. Um, and it's also going to improve um, like remembering in your brain, because as a guitarist, one of my hardest things is remembering something from start to finish. And when you do this, when you get down into like the fourth, fifth, and sixth string, you have to um, listen and remember the your last highest pitch. You know, because if I'm not listening, It's going to be really hard for me to um, catch that string. Anyways, guys, short, sweet, to the point. Just give it a practice. Give it a whirl. Um, it is. It's going to stretch your hand out. It's going to improve everything. So, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video.